this is how to process a an alternate bind post for a more convenient workflow when making a garment for the signature Gianni. We can't use the dev kit, the blender one, because there's something strange about it that I haven't figured out yet. But I believe it has to do with the vertex weights. Anyway, there is an alternative. We can use Bender Buddy's dev kit importer. That one's wrong. Import and pull in there usable but strangely deformed DAE file. The, now, the reason why these exist is because uh, Bento Buddy reconstructs the entire rig and it uses the parents bone orientation to figure out where the next bone goes and obviously something is wrong in this rig already as you can see but since those aren't being used we can certainly hide them and continue from there now, what is that? is that the uh, is that the actual hip um, pelvis? Come on, can't be. No, it's. Yeah, that doesn't belong there. Whatever. But it doesn't get used, I guess. And anyway, we can use this to process a dev kit. What I want to do is pull the arms down because I want to make a garment in Marvelous Designer in the arms down pose. Now, we are often calling this the A pose, but the A pose is actually with the leg spread as well. So I'm just saying arms down. And 45 degrees is usually a good angle, so rotate on the X. Negative 45. Oops, that's the wrong. That's the wrong X. Local. Is that the same? Or did I not hit the X? Maybe I didn't hit the X. Let's test that. X. 45. Yep. Yeah. Local. X. 45. So that will be negative 45. Rotate. X. Negative 45. Rotate. X negative 45. Now you're going to get better results here if you preserve the volume. You'll notice that the shoulders will change shape. Alright. You need this to push out the um, the garment. You can do it by hand afterwards and you in fact will have to do a little bit of work when it's complete. But not as much if you just tick that button and I'll export this body it will retain the shape as an OBJ and just the selection oops now look at that I'm just so weird lately with these new fangled windows and I'm going to call this SG now I already went through this so I know what I want to save it as. DSGA pose there. Now I'll hop over to Marvelous Designer and grab the uh, add avatar and SGA pose. Add. If you have something in here already and you're just adding things, use that, but in this case it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to make a quick shirt.
I'm using the arrow keys to move this. Unfold. Uh, oops, no, I don't want to do that. Now, instead of hitting escape, I'm just going to delete this. So, the more I do in a, in a tool that people aren't familiar with, the more they'll get to learn. So, uh, I know that this is going to stick out strange. So, I'm just going to I'm going to make a curve on that right now. And then it will propagate to the other portions. And I want to move this one vertex over a little bit. So a little space to hang on the shoulder. Then I can unfold. And... Oh, come on. Oh, don't do that. Select the whole thing. Copy. Make a space for it. Mirror paste and I hold the shift key down to lock the axis. Slide it over to match. Bring it to the back. And you can tell that it's flipped because of the dark section, so flip horizontally. And I want to move them both up a little bit so that they have time to drape. Just a tad. Oops. And I'm going to use. Um, first, I'm going to show how this is done with the point to point here. Uh, seam to seam, or whatever they call it. Showing. And then I will use the free form for the more elaborate areas. So you click one, go up, and you follow the same path on the other side. Now, don't close the hole. Be careful you don't do that. The neck hole there. And I think that's ready for draping. All right. There's going to be a little bit of defect here. Now, if you doing retopo, you probably don't have to do anything to this, and you really ought to not be using any mm, modification tools. You should be getting the draping done correctly if you're just rendering this stuff, but we're using this for game content, so we don't care about that. And I'm just going to steam this out. side. And that's ready. And the SG. I've done this already as test. Now, we want um, Marvelous Designer to do its own welding, because it knows exactly what it wants to do. And Blender would have to guess a little bit. And make sure you export thin. We don't want extra geometry. And we're exporting with meters, like we imported. Alright, back to Blender. Oops. Now, wait a minute. I don't think I had anything selected here. I wonder if there's a bug, because when I went to this before, the same thing happened. Export, select it. Maybe it's goofed. Alright, that works. Okay, we're back here. Um, After I'm done with this, I can turn off the preserve volume. I'm not sure it will have much of an effect on the weights, but uh, we'll just leave it on for now. And grab our garment. Mm, 
from one. This happened before. Oh, I must have I must have pulled in the um I must have tried to pull in the um material file. I do that often. Yes G. No, that's that's the wrong one. That's not the shirt. Import. No, I don't call out a. I'm really messing this one up. Import. OBJ. Under MD. This G. And this is shirt, right? I oh, I may have exported that instead of imported, huh? I think that's what I did. I'm a dummy. Alright, let's go back to Marvelous again. Silly me. Three times the charm. to make it a different color so I can see what's going on. And at this point, we really just have to make sure that our skin pose is on. That's responsible for reshaping the garment back into its original pose. Lock that. And the weight source and transfer the weights. Now we're going to go undo that preserve weights. Gives us a little bit more. So it should, it'll probably look that way in world. And we just want to um, fix the mesh on this a little bit. And we want to be able to see the pose that it's in. So, I'll enable that, and if you just take a couple of verts here, shift select, and on this side, shift select, select, um, what's this called, proportional editing, uh, that's a lot of movement, I'm using my page down here, but I think on, I think People often use the um, mouse wheel. I don't have one of those. I have I use trackball and other things. So I want to do it. I want to move this um, all together. So just do that. That kind of works. I think I need a little bit more. Um, a little bit more of that page up. Two more should do it. Yeah, that looks kind of good. Huh? Alright. So that will stay like that. And, um, then you can just, you can pose this back. It doesn't really matter. And you can see there's a little bit more and you can fix that if you want. I'm not sure it will show. When are you going to have your arms up like that in Second Life? But up to you. And um, just to be sure that the uh, that this garment is really in a T pose, let's turn off the armature modifier, and you'll notice that it stays. So it really is in a T pose. And since we imported this, it already has a built-in preset. So we can just export this right now. And it's all ready to go. For a second line.
There's some work to do there. Let's see what this looks like. I thought I saw something strange. Yeah. Typical skinning. But there is, um... There's definitely some work to do. Alright, that should do it.